hello everyone welcome in this video tutorial of the jasper report guys this is the second video tutorial on the jasper report in my previous video i have described you how to set up the jasper soft studio for developing the jasper report so guys we will begin with the first jasper report here in this video tutorial i'm going to use the xml data file as a data source for filling up the jasper report so guys let's get started right now this is the tipco jasper soft studio okay and now what we have to do go to this file go to the new and you have to click on this jasper report and you will get this new report wizard okay and here you have to select the blank a4 you have many choices but in this tutorial for practice purpose you have to choose this one now click on the next okay once you click you will get this page and here you can give the name to your report my Jasper report okay I have given this name and click on the next and you will on this window and here we have to create a data source data source means the source from which we are fetching the data in this example we are taking XML file as a data source okay so first I will show you the XML file that I am going to use in this report now this is the XML file okay now let me open this XML file in the browser you can open this XML file in the browser or you can open this file in any editor okay guys if you want to see the structure of this file of any XML file you can just drag and drop in the browser and it will display you the XML structure this is the XML I'm going to use here I'm using the catalog of the video library and we have multiple CD okay we are using five elements here first CD element have the following properties like every CD has a title and the artist country company name and price and the year of releasing okay so we have this information in the CD tag and we will fetch all these information and we will display the same thing on the Jasper report. I hope this is clear to you and now come back in the Jasper soft studio. So here we have to create the data source. So right now you have to click on this new button and this small window of the data adapter wizard will open now in this we have many options of the data source okay so in this case in our video tutorial we are using the xml file so we have to select the xml document but if you want to populate your jasper report with the uh, database so you can make the connect jdbc connection here okay so rest of the things will cover in the later videos so we can continue now and click on next button okay guys now you will see this window here you have to give a useful name you can give any name of your choice I am giving XML data adapter okay here you have to specify only one name you can choose any name of your choice you can give any name at this place and right here in the second this is the file button here you can click and you will browse the XML file okay so just click on it and you have to navigate to the location where we have the source XML file so here is the source XML file and click open okay now you can see the text box is filled with the path of the selected file okay 
and the second thing you have to click on the first radio button we are going to use the x path expression to find out the tags and we will fetch the value so select the first option and leave the rest thing as it is no change now click on the finish and it will take two three seconds to set up all these things and you will get the same structure here on the left hand side box you can see this is the parent tag and these are the child tag and this tag has all the properties like title artist country company price and year in the same way the same structure is again in the next tag okay so we have five cds now we have to select all five cds and we have to display the data on the jasper report so here we have to write an expression that means the path expression which we call x path expression so you have to type cat log slash cd once you write this thing you can notice the cd tags becomes bold so all cd tags are selected now see this if i delete this thing you can see the catalog tag is highlighted okay now I'm writing again the CD tag because we have to get the data which is inside the CD tag okay I hope this is clear at this point and once you're done you have to click on the next button and you will get this window here this is showing the fields okay so you have to include these fields so these fields will display in the jasper report so you have to only click this double arrow button and all fields will be moved to the right hand side box okay like this once it is done you have to click next and here we are not going to do anything in the group by so we can click on the next okay and finally we will get this congratulations all information to create the new report has have been successfully acquired and press the finish button to generate the report okay and it is asking us to click on the finish button finally click on it okay you can see it is setting up the report now here it is we got this report like this you will get this a4 size space of the report here we have some bands like Every report has a title, one header section, one column header section, and one the detail section. So you can add more component in the detail section. Okay. And we have the column footer, we have page footer, we have summary footer. So all these can be customized. If you don't need, you can click on this band and you can delete it like this. Okay. Now let me delete, delete the title okay but these are not completely deleted okay these are disabled okay but you can again reset the particular band suppose I need page footer so you can click here and do a right click and click add band and it will add to its position okay you can see we have deleted this thing from the report okay guys also the fields we have selected in the previous steps that will appear here like title artist country company price and year so now you have to display all the data on the Jasper report okay in the in this area so we will drag all these fields okay and now drop it here now see this once you drop you will find the text title artist country company price in year will automatically set in the column header so these text will become the header of the 
report and the repeated information will be filled with these fields okay guys and the gap between these headers and the data is much so you can reset it by clicking on this blue line and just compress it and reduce the width of this okay like this and now it is ready to run and you can see here we have these three tabs first one is design and second one is source this is the XML format of the design that we have created and the third one tab is to watch the preview of the created report so once you click the Jasper report will be generated and the data will be filled on your report now you can see the data is filled perfectly like this okay and one more thing here we getting much space so you can reduce it by reducing the height of this band so I am putting it to the closer and now save the Jasper report again and now click on the preview to see the preview again now you can see that this is much better than previous one and the report is generated successfully guys on the top bar we have these options to watch the report closely like this zoom fit page option just click on it you will see the a4 size page and you can review your report at a glance also we have another option like this so you can watch in the zoom okay and you can watch at actual size so guys this was the jasper report created in the jasper soft studio and here we were using the xml as a data source i hope this concept is clear to you guys in this jasper studio we have many more options so it is little bit difficult to cover all the stuff in a one single video tutorial so guys i suggest you if you found this video useful so please like and subscribe this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for the upcoming video tutorial on the jasper report keep watching keep smiling i will bring more useful video for you till then bye bye